Okay, everybody. Look at what do you think? Is this beautiful or what? Well, I'm not finished. I just added them on, but I wanted to turn on the lamp so you could see it. Somebody literally left this lamp in a community room. So I noticed that it had a big dent in it, like it fell, you know, lamps do fall you know, by accident. So in the inside, let me see. In the inside, right here, I don't know if you can see that little crack. The whole thing is cracked and it's plastic in the inside. I was gonna take it the plastic out, but I realized if you take the plastic out, all you'll have is that material. And of course the material, it's not gonna look good. So I said, I wonder if I should taper my shade and, you know, like they say, one man's junk is another person's treasure. And in my mind's eye, because I've been doing the sculpting, um, pottery, or polymer clay, air dry clay is what it's called. I've been doing air, air dry clay, um, which I did when the ch my grandchildren were little. And I, and I always, always loved arts and crafts. In my very early years, right out of high school, I was a, um, what they call a teacher's assistant, or te sub teacher's assistant and substitute teacher. I became a certified preschool uh, teacher. Um, but that is not where my life <laughs> I ended up in the banking industry and um, well, just the whole business industry, which I'm very, 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 very thankful for. But always I love arts and crafts and, and anything that had to do with the arts. But look at that. These are the little silicone molds that I purchased and I added the plaster pla plaster of Paris and I just glued first I did the um, what they call paper mache let me turn the light back off as you can see you can see the paper then I primed it with paint primer after I did the paint primer I started adding the metallic colors so I wanted to see what they look like and my 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 that looks beautiful and I painted the base to match this color because that's going to be the primary color. So this has all been glued, the little, little um, cell of uh, I forgot the name of it already, silicone mold. <laughs> so I glued them down with some Elmer's glue, not the one that's non-toxic. This is the all purpose it's the super bond um, Elmer's glue it's the really good kind like when you're doing arts and crafts but not the kind that you would you know you would use in the school because it that that would be um, you would want to get non-toxic if you were if you had grandchildren or if you were you know you have allergies which I do but I wanted to use this anyway so now that it's all dried up, I want you to see how the light is illuminating up. And when it was the lampshade, because it had like a, the white plastic and then the lampshade, the light was like everywhere. And I have like, I don't know if you know this, but I have sensitive eyes. And I, and I thought, what a beautiful idea to retransfer this and look at it. So now I'm going to unplug it because I don't want to do this while I'm plugging it. And I'm going to remove the light bulb. And I like this particular lampshade. The reason why when you remove it, you don't have the cross right here. It's, it's one of these that it sinks in. And I like that. So I'm going to move my lampshade out of the way. Because again, I'm glad somebody left it there because my mind's eye seen something right away and I thought oh I can't wait to start do embellishing it so I'm going to bring out my metallic paints and I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way 
I took a nice long rest because I was seriously, I've been doing this since like I got up early in the morning at eight o'clock in the morning and I clean up, I do all my housework, everything's completely done. And of course I have breakfast and I wanna be able to have everything in, in order. I like things in order. It's really important to me. So I'm going to bring out the, I'm going to bring out the paints. I'm going to bring out my, now this grill was just from an old, uh, what do you call those toaster ovens? And it broke down, but I kept it because it's a really good place when you're painting and stuff like that, that it won't, you know, you won't really mess up. This is a cutting mat that I don't use for cutting material anymore because it's 14 years old and it's been really roughed up. So I'm gonna get my colors out that I want to paint. Okay, I'm gonna paint the butterflies and then I need the green for the leaves. I think I want a more real, more metallic green and some gold. Okay, some silver. Let's see. That's, this is copper. That looks so pretty. Oh no, this is the copper. And that's bronze. I'm gonna get that. I noticed this red is too bright red. I mean, it's really, really bright. And then this gold is very, very beautiful. That's espresso. It's burgundy. This orange is too bright for flowers. Oh, this is going to look good for flowers. And then I could put this pearl pink away. I think I'm pretty happy with the colors I selected, so I'm going to set these all over here and just kind of play as I go. That's what I like. That's what I call it. Play as you go. Okay. I'm going to bring out my the tray that I use when I paint. Because I wash it and, and I repurpose it. So I'm going to get my brushes out, okay. my painting brushes. This one is way too big, so I'm not going to use that one. Okay. I'm going to get the really fine one that's got a fine. This is actually my makeup brushes, but I use them for painting because after a while you just don't want to use them anymore. So these are... And then I have this one. Okay, that doesn't fit. And I think I'll go with this one. So I'll put these all over here. So I forgot the water. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back over here. So I got a got a rag. Got my water. And I forgot the brush. Okay, let's see. We resumed. Okay, so we've got our water because we need to clean our brushes, make sure they're nice and clean. We use what we get start off with first. So I want to bring my brushes and paint my paint brushes over here, and I'm gonna start painting the flowers first. Okay, everything's all everything's all dried. It's been over hour, a couple of hours. So open up my paint. I'm going to use this really nice brush. Okay, let me get, oops. Get it a little wet. 
I like to kind of wet them. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, open them up. Make sure they're nice and flexible. Now they're now it's nice and bendable. And I'm going to just take that, and I want to start with the with the where are the roses? There they are. I'm going to start with the roses. Meanwhile, I've got my palette down there. And I'm going to start painting the roses first. I really haven't used this color, so. And then I'm going to do a shadowing technique just when it's when I'm almost finished. I want all the roses to be the same color. Next time I buy, I'll buy the other palette of colors, the yellows. I'm going to paint the, the, the metallic as well. Okay. But I want to get these roses done first. Okay, let me see where they're at. I'm going to do all the roses the same color. Petals. I'm going to add a lot of detail so it looks really beautiful. Like I said, this lampshade isn't going to look the same by the time we finish. Hold on. My TV's acting weird. Let's resume. I had to turn off the TV. Okay. There we go. Let's go back to painting that rose. details. Okay. Like I said, all these roses are going to be the same color. change them and have different colors. It looks nice if they were all the same colors. Okay. These little ones. Okay, so they look good so far. Okay. Now I want to go on the underside just a little bit, just to touch that up, because we're going to use a darker color for the showering. But I just want to touch up a little bit on the underside of the flower. Take your time if this is all new to, to you. Okay, 
and we did those. Okay, now we've got to do this one. We're doing the upper sides. I'm going to add a different color because, you know, flowers, they fade on the edges. And so you have to remember that. Okay, so rinse your brush off. I'm going to take any colors in that I'm using. I'm going to just set them on the side. That way I know I used them, and if I want to use them again for highlights, I will. And meanwhile, rinse my brush out. Make sure it's clean. See the... Yeah, my right there and I'm wiping that down so a little rag down here okay so now the next color is going to be this metallic green. Well, actually, I'm going to go with the dark green first and then add that metallic, lighter green metallic. What I like about them is because they almost have gold in it. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, so we're going to paint the leaves now. I like those. Don't forget the underside of the Leave. I'm just touching them. I'm not really um, painting too much because I'm going to add more color to that. And then again, I'm going to add a darker color underneath to give it some shading. Don't forget the, the leaves have that. They come up and under the flowers too, by the way, just to let you know. Get the stems if they have stems. Okay. Okay, look carefully. I'm going to go on the underside of some of these leaves. around the, the bottom petals of the, of the flower just a little bit give us some like a natural look because they do have that little green underneath the little leaves that open up the blossom Just a little bit, tiny bit more under the Okay, I don't think there's any oh there's one more. I didn't see that. Okay. There's one more. There we go. A little bit under. And then I'm going to, okay, I didn't see that one, so let's see, I didn't touch that one up very much. So. 
I am going to put a sh shadow effect underneath. Okay, so clean up your brush. Oops, I forgot to put the cap on. I'm sure I cleaned that up. If you notice that your cap that comes with it, they use this to add the um, paint, but I use it to cover it up. Mm, hello. Hello, little lady. Julie's here. She wants to say hello. Hello, everybody. Okay, where's the brush? Okay. So wipe that down. Yes, yeah, starting. Yeah, you see what mommy doing? Mommy busy again? Mommy don't take a break? Mommy you don't take a break? Oops. No worries, honey. No worries. You can come look. I'm not stopping. Enjoy your day, honey. Okay, so now I'm going to get the more goldish metallic grain. And then cover up your... Your... Um, your your paint. Now I'm going to go over that same dark green. Now I'm going to kind of just paint those again. It's a little different green. put green under here already but I want to touch it up with this lighter green just go all the way around the day goes pretty fast when you do something like this If you just keep going around one direction, then you know where you're at when you start the beginning again. So kind of pick a spot so you know where you started, okay? Okay, so we use those greens. And we're really going to concentrate on the clouds first. Clean that up. Get down, make sure there's nothing there. 
Okay, so now we're going to go with, let's see, flowers turn different colors, as we all know. So let's see, I have my colors over here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's the pink. This is a lighter pink, and I'm going to go right inside. The new leaf flowers are blossoming. Okay, we're we'll back where we started. <clears throat> Pardon me again. that I already use, I'm going to set it to the side. Again, I have to clean the brushes out. This is a more better brush. I like to use this one because it's really got a good, a good brush. And again, this is a makeup brush. Okay, now I want to start with the butterflies. And butterflies, you know they have beautiful colors to them. So we'll start off with some blues. And I think I have this earthy bronze, which would look nice. So we'll start with the light blue, just kind of like to see where we're going to go with that. Again, pick out somewhere you want to start. I'm just going to stick with certain colors. I don't want to go and, you know, get really fancy and, you know, paint each and every one a different color. I actually just want to stick with the, a basic color.
That's a dove, so we're not touching that one. Okay, so we've got all the in the dragonfly. Okay, this one's going over there. Place it on my palette. I don't want this to be really, really dark. And now I want to touch this bird. There's only three of them. Now I'm going to use some of this purple. Pick a few of these out. Just kind of mix it in there. Butterfly here, so I mean, uh, not a butterfly, a ladybug.
do a little bit deeper tone to the roses. Okay. Okay, now I can rinse that out. I'll leave that there. Just in case I need that medium. Okay, now we're going for just this shimmering silver. Okay, I'm going to open that up. Oops, wrong one. I forgot. I needed to use the black. Where is the black? There it is. The metallic black. black. I want some right there. Remember in your mind's eye, don't forget to pick a spark, pick a spot where you start it. Luckily this is metallic black, so I know exactly where I start it. Because wherever I'm at, it'll be on that metallic black. Right there, there's that main color. It's right there, and that's where I started. That's three roses. This gives it the shadowing effect that you want to bring out that three dimension. Okay, now I want to get some of that metallic black because the, the ladybug has those little feet. Okay, now I'm going to start shadowing under, around the sides. See how that is giving me almost like a 3D effect. You're casting a shadow underneath, and you do cast shadows, like we'll cast a shadow.
And when you run out, you just get some more. I place it back on my palette. Side. Remember, we started at the three flowers, so that's where we'll end up back. Right underneath the flowers. Get the beak on the bird. And I'm just blending it in as I go along. bit of water, just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit to kind of loosen up all that, spread that on your palette, and then just kind of really forgiving so if you notice you put too much somewhere just a little bit of water kind of spread that around okay back to what I was doing the shadows Picking up that purple, the red, the gray. the rose. A 
kind of bird. Don't forget the bird's peak, but we'll get to that in a little minute. I'm just casting that shadow all underneath it. And remember what it started off looking like. They were just little white little, little like porcelain. So it's actually starting to look like something. Okay, so I'm drying up, so I'm just going to move this all to the side like this. Okay, so I'm running out of that. Did you see? I don't know if you can see that. Where it started off all just white, and I left some of them white so you could see that just adding those shadowy effects. And we're not finished yet, by the way. This is not over till it's over. Okay. So now I get some more of that metallic black. Add a little bit, because that's the one that's being used more. Okay. We're at 50 minutes. Okay. I'll drop a teeny bit of that. Get off of there. And we want to add a little bit of that purple so we can get that color that we we're using right now. Off. And put that back on. Okay, so 
over here where all that water is at, mix that really beautiful medium in. And the water is way up there. Okay, we want to continue with the shadowing. If it has crevices, don't forget to go in there too. Because all that's going to get other colors into it. See how that's all white? Now we're adding the shadow underneath. You could pick the color. I've got that black and red. back up to three roses.
Okay, I'm going to get the three flowers. Clean that up. Clean that brush up. Make sure it's nice and clean. And we still have our colors on the palette. Okay, now I want to get some. Let's see this. Start off with this gold. Domino effect. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Okay, so we're going to open up the gold. And we're going to get a spongy. And we're going to drop that gold way over here. Okay, pick that up. Oops, picked too much of them. It's okay. beginning. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Now we're going to take a good look at this. Oh, I know what I was going to Touch up those leaves with some gold. That looks good. I'm not going to go too deep.
highlighting the edges of the butterflies. It's all done. Let's put our gold away. I still have a lot on the palette and I'm going to do something with that in a minute. Well, more than a minute actually, but you know what I mean. Okay, so now I want to get all these colors black. Well, actually the silver. Where is the silver? Let's see. It's over here. Hopefully I can dry it out before too long. Drop some silver in there. That's a lot more than I anticipated to use, but that's okay. that. Okay, one last thing and that I'm going to just stick with the copper. That is the last of the last. A new sponge. This one has gold on it, so I want to use the sponge that has the gold. And have a nice drop of that. And wipe everything down. Now for the touch the top first. Oh no, 
if you can see this. But you gotta work pretty fast. Let's go under first. I'll probably have to get some more of the copper. Yep, I'm gonna have to need some more of the copper. Remember, we're right here by these little butterflies. So just leave it right there. We need a little bit more copper. Let it fall. Wipe that off. Take that down to right here. To those butterflies. Okay, that really changed the color. Now I want to go under here where the paper is at. as much as I can. some of the little butterflies that I didn't get. Save those for last, to be honest. Okay. 
Okay. What? I was like, where is Rinse out your sponge. Just the champagne gold. This is not the same gold like the other gold. This is a like a brass gold. And all those underlying coats are really gonna pop out. You can actually put them on the leaves too. a huge difference. I don't know if you can see it with the light. Let me see if I can make this. I can't know if you can see it with the shimmering. Oh, that looks better right there. See how that made a big difference? I love the way it looks. Okay. I'm gonna rub 
bit in with your fingers. Let me see. Well, that's not the color I'm looking for. I kind of overdid it with this one here. I took away all that blue. Let's see. Let's go with this blue here. Nope, that's too much blue. Let's see. Nope, that's not gonna work. Let's see. This a little hint. There we go. We brought back that to life. Okay, that brought that back to life. See that blue. Okay, that brought that back to life. Way too much of that blue. There, blue is back. You can accidentally do that, but don't forget you can always go back and just touch it up a little bit. The gold is always going to be there. Just touching up those glues again so they really pop out. Excellent. Now you can see all the birds and I mean the butterflies again. Okay. Whew. Okay, must be the gold. Yep, that's the one I forgot to put back on. And I am finished with this. Tomorrow, I'm going to go under here and I'm going to spray it with a, well, I'm, actually, I'm going to paint it with the um, primer all underneath. And then I'm going to cover up the all this with some newspaper and then I'm going to spray this underneath or just paint it with my paintbrush. Okay, and that is the lampshade that was, if I would have just took a picture of it beforehand, you wouldn't believe what it looked like before. It was all mashed up on one side, it was all bent, paper mache glued it, popped it back out. That paper mache glue is all sturdy in there. Then I primed it with um, a whitewash, primed it up. After I did that, I added some of this color very lightly. And then you seen how I just painted the flowers. I just noticed something. My flower. I didn't paint that. <laughs> That's okay. We'll do that right now. Do that right now. I thought I painted everything. <laughs> Let's clean up the brush. Let's blend that in a little bit. I don't know why I thought I, I painted it, but I, I didn't touch up those little areas. Okay. That can happen. You can kind of skip a little bit. Okay, it was just that one. Oh, I can still see the white, the, um, what do they call it? Plaster of Paris. Okay, I'm glad I double checked. There's another little spot. Right in there. Okay. 
And right up here, I didn't see that. I got it. So let me really look at that. Oops, I didn't see that. It's not until after you paint everything when you realize that you, you miss a few of those plaster of Paris parts. Whoop, right in there. Okay, oh, right there. She's a dawn. Looks beautiful. Really, really does. And I can't wait to plug it up, turn off the lights, and show you what it looks like. So we've got the. Let's put everything away. It's already. What time is it? Five. Five o'clock. And I've been doing this since 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay, we're going to turn off the, the light. Give me one minute. I've got paint all over me, but that's okay. Okay, let's get our light bulb. It's a pinkish light bulb. Oh boy. We've got to wash everything up. Okay. Okay, this goes in first. And the light bulb. I might want to take some of that gold tone. And just highlight these little bumps. You see these little ridges? And put some of that gold tone in there. Okay, let me move everything out of the way so you can get a good look. It is beautiful. Okay, let's plug it up. Where's the plug? Okay, there she is. Look at that. Wow, from what it looked like before, it, it is a total different lamp from a lamp that was given away because it was you know mashed up inside and some silicone mold and it's a new lamp more beautiful than I would have ever anticipated And there she be, there she be, little butterflies, the birds, more butterflies, roses. And I love the blue. I wanted all that blue for the butterflies and the bird. Okay, everybody, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful evening. God bless you. Thank you for sticking with me this long. Good night.